Presenting Father Maguire, the fat chap in a flat cap. Viewer discretion is advised. Some of what you are about to see may shock you. It may astound you. You may want to see more. Fasten your seat belt. This could get bumpy. Thumbly Technicolor. <laughs> folks it is i father Maguire, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today i mentioned on my stream yesterday on twitch that i was going to be investing in a cheap drone um for use in getting some shots from above of landscapes and places i go especially on my walks with george who's obviously not paying any attention today anyway so um i went on amazon had a quick look at a few things decided i wanted a 4k camera decided I needed to have um, one with an adjustable camera as well so that I can change the shots so that I can look down or sideways or wherever I need to go really um, and uh, I found this one so this is a Ghoul Sky uh, drone uh, there's no model number strangely enough um, but at the moment you can see that I, I got it slightly cheaper than actually what it is because there's a voucher there available this is from Amazon you might be able to get this from somewhere else, but it's 50 quid. So this is a cheap drone. Um, it's not like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So if I damage it, I'm not going to be really upset. But it says there it's a 4K drone. Video capture resolution is 1080p, which is good enough for me. Now, the beauty about this drone is it's got two cameras on it. It's got one at the front that you can move up and down. And it's got one underneath aiming directly downwards. Um, which is obviously going to be good for me because I want some overhead shots and I also want some, you know, um, horizontal landscape shots. Um, so it's a, a track flight um, with gravity sensor. Um, you can make it do certain things with your hand as well. Um, and it uh, has an altitude hold, which we're going to be testing. Um, the headless mode as well. Um, and it says it's for adults or kids. It's got a three star rating, right? So I had a quick look at the reviews and the most recent bad reviews were these So let's have a look at these reviews first uh, faulty when received the trigger had snapped well, you know Unfortunately that that's just one of them things you'd get your money back or get a replacement I think but it says terrible quality item the trigger had already snapped when I received it Having a hard time now returning it for a refund. The drone itself doesn't fly straight and seems to fly where it wants, making the controls useless. Well, we'll be going into that when we're doing um, the actual flight testing, which we will be doing quite a few different things for that. And the second review, this is, but the, that one was November 2021. This one is 9th of February this year. So only sort of like uh, about five, six weeks ago. I would not recommend to anyone do not buy this product read review when i received my drone i downloaded the app and there was no option to pair the camera also the charger didn't charge either of the two batteries that came with the drone i filled my refund request back in early january and i've still not had a response from the seller i would not recommend to anyone it is a complete waste of money and time right we'll we'll address these as well um then the third one we've got here is should be called mini drone the images make this look like a reasonably sized drone. When it arrived, the drone was the size of a small matchbox. Very disappointed. Used for the first time yesterday, it does not respond to the controls. If you take it outside, be prepared for it to fly off. Contacted the seller, so depending on what happens, will reflect if my review is changed. So anyway, that's basically uh, some of the recent reviews. It's not all bad recent reviews i had to scroll down a page or two the most recent ones are all sort of four or five stars so i thought to myself I, i've saved up a bit of money because i wanted to i'm going lorry driving and i want something else apart from having 
like a camera looking out the, the windscreen or facing me while I'm driving. I wanted it to get a little bit of a different aspect on things of when I'm going around these beautiful places so I can, you know, when I have to stop for a break or something, I can go out with the drone if the wind's not too strong and fly it up and get some decent shots with it. You know, it's just something a little bit different, you know, because I appreciate landscapes. I'm sure a lot of people do. So that's what this, um, this review is going to be. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to do some flight tests. We're going to check and see how long the battery lasts because um, I'll put a time-lapse video on it and I'll put it at an altitude and just sit the camera there and time how long it takes before the battery goes flat and it, it returns to the ground because I'm going to do it on grass outside. It's a, it's a lovely day here. There's no wind. It's perfect, really, for testing. So that's what we're going to do. So sit with me, folks. Don't forget, if you don't already subscribe, please do it. that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Click the bell and uh, you'll get notified of any of my future videos most of them are about me walking this young man here and driving out in the car and then you know in the future it's going to be lorry driving and using all this equipment pretty much so yeah stick with me folks and here we go for the uh, unboxing right folks so this is it um, this is what arrived from Amazon. This is the Gull Sky drone, um, made in China. So uh, this is not too bad. It's a, it's a tough plastic box. It's got a little bit of a, a carry strap there as well, which is nice. So let's get it open and see what we've got inside. Oh, I hope we did it the wrong way. That's not a good start, is it? Okay, so we've got a bit of a, a cover in there and then we've got the remote control um, these actually don't feel too bad there's quite a bit of resistance so you're going to be able to do some very sensitive flying with these the problem with this is that this is not the remote control that was shown on the advert the adverts showed a load of buttons down here now whether it's a different version I don't know but all the buttons are still here of what it can do um, we've got two shoulder buttons here. We'll find out everything. That's the 360 flip button there by the looks of it. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, but there's a battery cover at the back with a little um, opening and closing thing there. So that's the remote control. We'll go into it in more detail in a bit. And this, I believe, opens up. Yeah, this is for your mobile phone. And it's got a um, spring sprung bit there so that you can put your phone in there and fly it from the app I believe um, but again and that's your on button there we'll go into more details uh, when we get the instruction manual out and then we've got this little fellow here which you open up to get in a battery compartment now I know this is an unboxing but I'll warn you now you do not get batteries with this okay not for this remote control so I've got some rechargeable triple A batteries these are and I uh, didn't have any in so I bought some rechargeable ones because I know it's going to be using it the other nice part about this is the two batteries for the drone that it comes with fit inside here that's one of the batteries for the drone um, and they go inside that compartment as well so everything is sealed in that little bit which is nice and it doesn't feel too bad one of the reviews said it it was cheap um, and you know what you're gonna get for 50 quid seriously you know it's a it's fairly solid that is it's not it don't feel cheap to me I mean yeah you know it don't look fantastic but you get what you pay for don't you so anyway that's the remote control we'll leave that there now let's have a look at the little fella which is this is the drone this is why the guy said it's like a small matchbox well, the video that, that comes with the, the, uh, the page on Amazon um, clearly shows a woman with this following her, and it, it does show that it is this small. Um, my hand, I'm, I'm not a, a big fella, um, and it really is, you know, it's only, what, one, two, three, four inches or something like that, and then maybe three inches, well, I say five inches by three, and that's when everything's folded in. Obviously, you fold... Your, your, your wings out like this to be able to fly it and then you've got your drone like that so it's not all that small but in a high wind it would get taken away 
and they've got it on here look LS quadcopter well there's your front camera uh, that's the one that you can alter up and down and there's your camera underneath and that I would think is the transmitting aerial um, which goes to your um, remote control and there's your on button so that's that's the drone there it doesn't look too bad it, it feels alright as well I mean it's it's you know you get what you pay for don't you really um, but yeah proof is in the pudding I suppose it doesn't look too bad at all that's where the battery comes in and out that's the other battery you see so the battery literally just slots into there so that's the drone what else have we got up here look a couple of bits of paper and a bag with some leads and stuff in it what we got in here alright so right, these are the guards for the blades for, for going on the outside I would imagine so there should be four of them so that's two what else have we got we've got another two and we've got a spare in fact we've got two spare blades so if you lose a couple you've got um, two spare there which is nice so yeah we've got four we've got four protectors for the for the things and also a little screwdriver which I would imagine is to take these um, blades off to put up on something like that and then we've got this lead now I can tell you we, we read one of the reviews right and it said that you couldn't charge the batteries well I know why he was saying that right because and I I tested this already is it's a very small battery port that you, you put this into and you go a certain distance and it like resists so you think it's in and it's going to charge but actually you have to do another click and that is where it's charging so the guy who said it wouldn't charge probably only went that far and thought that was going to do it um, because I had it that far in and I had it on charge for two hours and it wasn't charging but then I realized because I tried again you have to do that extra click there and do it once more for you so push it in to get resistance and then you can hear that probably just and that will charge up so that's your charging cable it's not very long um, it has got a very nice red light on the top though so when you uh, when you're charging there's a very bright red light so you know it will go out when you're fully charged but that's not too bad in terms of length of cable that's not too bad really you don't really you're not going to need to you know have it too long um, so yeah I'll put that battery back inside the because that's that's been charged up already so we can we can do a test flight and see how long that's going to last so what we got here we've got some sort of uh, that's in Chinese uh, and there's the QR code for the apps so you scan your QR code um, and get the app onto your phone um, it says here power the device Wi-Fi hotspot and it's basically this the, it works the same way that my uh, dash cams do on your phone you'll change your Wi-Fi um, hotspot to read um, your remote control um, on the app um, and then you know it connects that way so yeah head interface operation mode gesture recognition um, gesture photo about two meters in front of the aircraft lens the palm of one hand uh, palm forward is raised flat on the side of the body after the aircraft recognizes the gesture it starts countdown for three seconds and takes pictures at this time the arm can be lowered the time difference between two consecutive identifications should be greater than three seconds some models do not support this function opening the function will cause picture delay gesture video about two meters in front of the camera one hand clenches the fist palm forward and holds it flat on the side of the body after the aircraft recognizes the gesture it starts recording after countdown of three seconds 
Arm can be lowered at this time. When recognising the first gesture in the video, it ends the video. So that's quite interesting. It does uh, music recording as well, manual focusing, um, special effects. It does quite a bit of stuff, really. And that's just on that one sheet. So then we've got this little baby. And uh, I've had this out already, so let's just start because this is all in English and there's quite a few pages of information that's all in Chinese on the back but this is all in English and it's all about you know how to fly it and what to do um, safety regulations important notes introduction to the controller tells you everything that, that goes on the controller installation instructions for remote control battery and mobile phone rack that's fairly explanatory that's easy enough to work out headlessness mode um, calibration to get it right one key return so you press one button and it'll come back to you no matter where it is um, the blades install tells you how to take these blades off the drone and put a new one on operations tells you how to fly it flight preparation matters need attention notes on lithium battery use uh, special remarks installation instructions for remote control battery and mobile phone rack again that's already that's second time is it yeah so first impressions really for a 50 quid drone there's some good instructions there we will be going into them but more when we're doing the flight tests because um, you know this is just the unboxing and we just wanted to see what we got so in the unboxing we've got a fairly solid plastic case that's portable um, we've got the charging lead obviously we've got four uh, blade protectors that go on um, I don't know if you can make out there but there's two little prongs there and they obviously fit on to the oh I'm not going to drop it fit on to the um, I can do it. I've got very awkward hands because I've got a um, problem, but that's gone on. Look, on, no problem. Just to protect you. But yeah, that goes on easy. You've got a screwdriver to take the fan blades off. You've got a couple of spare fan blades, which is nice. Um, the remote control is fairly chunky. Um, don't forget to buy your batteries or have three AAA batteries, folks, seriously. Because um, I had to order some, I don't keep them. Double A batteries are the ones I normally use. Um, but then we'll go into what these controls do um, and we'll do some flight tests so uh, bear with me and uh, we'll be back with uh, some reviews of uh, what's going on and uh, let's do some flight tests and stuff and find out what everything works hello again uh, right this is my totally honest opinion do not buy this drone okay under not super strength or you know um, even slightly rigorous movement um, part of the left analog stick snapped off um, you could still use it but basically where the circle of the analog stick is the top section snapped off which isn't a good start so anyway I carried on um, I figured out how to get the drone calibrated which didn't work properly um, Every time you put it on a level surface, you're supposed to do the analog sticks down and to the right on the right one and down and to the left on the left one to calibrate it on a flat surface. Well, my floor in here is flat. Um, I know I, it is because I used a spirit level. And I calibrated it on this floor, set it on the uh, altitude hold, and it just kept going to the right-hand side. So anyway, I thought, right, okay, fair enough. Let's try it outside. Well, I'm a novice drone flyer, but the slightest wind and this thing is gone. No, no kidding. Absolutely not kidding at all. I mean, I'm presuming it's just because it's so light and it's not even a strong wind. I look out here today and I'm not even seeing trees blowing, branches moving or anything. But as soon as I got it above my bungalow, it was uncontrollable and I don't mean that it wasn't being controlled because I was trying but it was just gone into the distance and I ended up forcing 
to land it in a field at the back of my house, a big grass field, just to make sure that I didn't lose it. So then I had to walk round to the farm who owns that field to ask permission to go on there to find it and spent half an hour walking up and down this grass field with foot high grass in the hope of even finding it because it's really small. So my honest opinion, I did figure things out. I did do a couple of recordings of this and that, but I didn't really get to test it to see how long the batteries last. Um, so unfortunately, it's going back to Amazon. I've already done the returns. I should be posting it back tomorrow and I'm asking for my money back because the fact that that analog trigger, now in the, one of the reviews, if you remember, a guy said the trigger, trigger arrived, snapped off. And I thought, how could it arrive snapped off in, in that sort of case? You know, the box that it came in, as you see there, that is the box it arrived in. It was a good box. It was well packaged and everything. How did the trigger snap off? Well, I found out, hadn't I? Because literally, it was just the slightest tap and it snapped off. So very disappointing, really, in that. The rest of it, when you think about it, um, if I'm going to get another drone, I'm going to make sure there's some weight to it because I'm not joking. It's not like five mile an hour wind here today and it was gone. It doesn't matter. I, I figured out the controls were low to the ground before I sent it up to try and do a couple of photographs and videos with it. And then, you know, when it went above the bungalow, it was just going, going, going. It didn't matter. I was pushing back. I pressed the return button so that it'd come back to me. It couldn't because the wind was too strong and it's only six mile an hour. So I'm afraid unless you're buying one to play with, you know, to, to be literally playing with, it's a big thumbs down from me on that drone. Do not buy it, folks. Some of those reviews, I was doubting the, the um, you know, the, the genuine um reasons for wanting to send it back or whatever but one of the guys mentioned as well that he couldn't get hold of the company that supplied it to return it well i just went on their return item um and they told me um you know that all i need to do is put it back in the box take it down to the local shop which is like a mile and a half away and uh scan a code in job done and they'll return my money within five to seven days so i'll put it to a better use i won't buy such a cheap drone next time i don't think i'm going to do a little bit more research and see if i can find one maybe second hand on facebook marketplace just to make sure that i'm not going to end up doing that again because i'm not joking it took me half an hour in that field to try and find it because of course it wouldn't connect wirelessly to my phone so i couldn't see it um and anything it was working the phone was the phone was working i could watch the camera on the thing and everything else was worked you know the app worked um it is a fairly rigid box, but that the fact that analog snapped, that was really frustrating for me, really disappointing. And the fact that then, on a very, really calm day, it's not even slightly windy out there, it was just gone. And then, you know, I'm, I'm walking in this field and I'm thinking to myself, I'm never going to find this. It's only that big in total, do you know what I mean? In a, a, a field with foot-high grass, there's no way I'm going to find it, and luckily I did. So that was it. As soon as I was walking back here, I'm thinking, right, that's going back to Amazon and I'm going to get a refund. So unfortunately, um, you know, I didn't get to test it as I wanted to. But I'm telling you now, do not buy that drone. Um, you're just going to be wasting your money. Make sure that whatever drone you get has got some good weight to it. And, you know, you know, <laughs> isn't one that's going to get blown away as soon as you put it up because that's the purpose of getting a drone in the first place. Uh, so sorry about that, folks. The uh, review is not as I was going to expect it to be. But uh, Father Maguire out. Don't forget, please do subscribe to me. Um, it doesn't cost you anything and it does help. Um, if you want to see reviews on anything else, then please let me know and hopefully we'll get something to test that actually doesn't break. Father Maguire out.